Hey guys, sorry I've been away. I was thinking of doing this live and I probably will or should once I gather some more information. But I just wanted to put this out there and say hello and that I've been praying for you guys. Please shoot some up for me and my uh, family if you feel so led. Pray for our country and pray for our leaders. So I just wanted to say at this point, if you can't see what's happening, it doesn't even bother me to be caught insane or crazy now because... Everybody has some type of issue at this point after all the trauma we've collectively been through as a nation and as a generation um, since I was born. And so that part really doesn't even bother me anymore. It is, um, it's getting to be all about perspective as far as sanity goes and people just being willfully ignorant and keeping their eyes closed. If you can't see now, there's a force or something at work taking out our world leaders um, which is going to make way for the new establishment um, that they already have set up now that's the thing they want us to ask for it they want to back us into a corner this is why I don't vote if I vote um, pro-life I'm following um, you know natural law and God's law but I'm also going against natural law by saying that somebody else has a say over that what that woman um, gets done to her medically because it's not just about that issue they sneak other issues in it's best to opt out and that's what I've decided to do for my soul and my spiritual um, bonds I don't want any attachments to people that I do not know but if you can't see that right now our world leaders are just being taken out um, left and right there was also um, somebody in Mexico who was running for office who was injured and wounded. Of course, you know uh, the gentleman from Iran just a few days ago. So there we go. Um, and that's because of the back and forth between Israel. And, and I just got to say, you know, if you do say that you're a Christian, you should be anti-all war, no matter what kind it is. Um, Christ was anti-war and I know there are Christians out there who say well I got to protect my family and I'm a man and these are the things that we got to do I'm not saying um what to do I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying Christ was not violent he was a pacifist and we should always pray for and stand for life truth and love and God because God is all of those things at the same time regardless of um where you stand with that, though, I hope your eyes are open enough to see what's happening. Now, also understand that um, only if you are working do you get to maintain your title. I didn't understand this. I didn't know what that meant. Um, something, some force is making way for a whole um, lot of vacuums that are being created. Now, that's the thing. When you create a vacuum or a hole, an empty space, something will automatically take its place. They're not going to give us time to create a new system. They already have the thing that's going to take its place. They already have that object that's going to fill that hole or fill that vacuum. Now, you see these two uh, royals are thinking of going back to work, which means they would be in the line for titles. Um, what does it mean to be a working royal? Just so you understand, Kate is not working now. The king, I don't know if he's still, I don't know if he's on medical absence or whatever, whatever they're calling that. But um, if you're not a working royal, you don't get to maintain your title. And so obviously there is something happening. There's a new regime coming in and it's coming in worldwide um, through the UN, most likely. Most of us know this and are aware of this. But again, these are uh, some corners and loose ends that... I thought I wanted to tie up real quick, and we may get into a live on this, but again, I'm just doing what I need to do at this point in time to be strong and pray for everybody, my family, and, and you guys, and um, people say, well, you're, you're praying, you're not actually doing anything, but, but I am, and I'm doing stuff um, to just try and maintain and be more self-sufficient and to not be a burden to others and to try and be a blessing, and praying takes time, and the bit best currency that we have in this world is the time that we devote to one another. That is love in service. That is love in action. And love is an action word. It is a verb. But what do you guys think of all this? I think that's one of the reasons I was so encouraged not to work because somebody knew things like this were coming and somebody knows our bloodlines better than we do. So uh, it's best to be aware and, and uh, maintain and 
be observant of those around you and what's going on around you because nothing is as it seems. Nobody is what we were told they are or who we were told they are. And um, so just be wise. I love you guys. Bye.